the OTC Podcast. I'm your host, Tarun Verma. And I'm Janu Chavla. Today is another article that we're going to review from the Elite Daily called A Call to the Millennial Male, Four Things Guys Keep in Mind When Another One Gets Away. So this whole article is essentially about sentimental bitches. And when I say that, I mean men, because I am one of these guys. I was about to say, I think I know one. Yeah. I, I'm totally the, this guy, and when I was reading this article, I couldn't help but just feel bad for myself. <laughs> I felt sad. I was like, really? I'm this little bitch? Oh, man. You should. This poor sap. So let's go through it. It's a bit of a painful one for me. I will share some stories about my life and these little tidbits in here. And here we go. So, blowing up her phone. Things that a millennial male should not do after he is broken up with a girl. And keep in mind, the new age sentimental guys, we don't really dump women as much as we get dumped. Yeah. (laughs) So that bit hurts, and we don't take it very well. So blowing up her phone, she does not text you back, she does not return your calls. And this leads you to go off, go all crazy. What does this remind you of? It reminds you of women, right? The traditional view of what women, like Ouch. guys don't call them and women are like, oh my God, he's not calling me. Well, we man bitches are, are these new guys, these new people. Because you keep thinking she could be with another guy. She could be in an awkward emotional place. Why isn't she texting me back? Why isn't she doing this? Point is, and this is the thing that I have to tell myself when I get into these things, and it's a simple book, a very stupid book actually, that turned into a really decent movie called Just He's Just Not That Into You. That's all it really is, right? <laughs> so if she's not texting you, she's not calling you, she's not Twittering, Instagramming, emailing you, or even Snapchatting you, cause <laughs> damn, you got to be a cold hearted bitch if you can't Snapchat someone. Then she's just not that into you. Guys like me don't get it, right? I, I, I remember one time I broke up with a girl, I was checking every avenue, right? Snapchat, Instagram, she gonna send me something? Nope. Nope. Stone cold killer. Not a- She was a stone cold killer. What do you think about that? That one's a little odd for me because even like the emotional guys that I know don't do that. I think we actually knew some people in college maybe that behaved this way. I know somebody who drove across the country to go be with the girl and surprised her. Oh, that her- shit. I know who you're talking about. Wow. Yeah. yeah that happened. That actually Basically, happened. Basically, guy was into girl. Girl wasn't into guy. Guy decided to surprise her at her high school graduation by driving across the country from Texas to New York to see her. Once she saw him there at the ceremony, she... Friendzoned him, right? Basically friendzoned oh, him. Oh, good lord, like, I totally forgot about this. Yeah. So for, for that Ouch. kind of guy, you know, for, for the 10 guys I knew really well in college... He's just one example. So this kind of is odd to me. I feel like guys, even the really emotional ones, handle things a lot better than women and just like shut down. So like I don't I don't really get this one. I think men know how to avoid the phone better than women do, unfortunately. Um, even though they may be like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter stalking you, I think guys would probably not like overwhelm a girl with like calls and texts. You know, I had simultaneously pains shoot to my heart and my balls when you told me that story. Ah, Went up to New York. I totally forgot about that. Pretty bad. And then Ouch. got into a horrible accident on the way back. Got you have hurt. Oddly weird memory. Good memory. Jesus Christ. I know. It's a waste of space remembering that story. So next one, thinking she was the one. I know I historically did this as a kid when I was young all the time. The next girlfriend I had, she has to be the one. Just sort of this uber romanticness, right? We didn't really see that in guys until recently. These really sentimental guys are just super like, she's the love of my life, she's this, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a bad move. That's kind of like, uh, really, man, come on. Be Be more reasonable with it. Use your brain. I think the new millennial males use their heart more than they use their brains. And that's just kind of a no-no. Yeah, um, this is making me very uncomfortable. I don't know a lot of men like this. I feel like the emotional millennial male that I know still knows how to handle, like, still knows how to call. Handle his shit. Yeah, still knows, like, when a girl is the one and when she's not. And actually, when guys think a girl is the one, and then she ends up not being the one and maybe, like, breaks up with him, I feel like a lot of those guys just change forever after that girl like they become then the douchebags of the millennials you know what i mean like i've had my heart broken many many times i'm still the same emo bitch that i was before that's true maybe you're just tougher to to break to break maybe your break break is coming i'm frozen (laughs) i'm kidding but yeah this one kind of weirds me out because i feel like some guys are usually more together 
with their stuff. I, yeah, I guess so. Now, next one. Being depressed for days on end. I have done this. Okay, I have seen this, yeah. I've seen I have it. seen this. I have done this many, many times in my life. But still, when guys get depressed days on end, isn't that their, isn't their way of being depressed like, oh, I'm going to go out, I'm going to go drinking with the dudes, like... That's their way. They don't sit around and mope. Like, women will literally, if they hear bad news on, like, a Friday, they will not leave their place or change out of their sweats or shower or any, or even step out of the house and they will eat the nastiest food for the next three, four days and will literally mope that way. Men will just be like, I'm just gonna have a beer. I'm gonna play a video game. Like, guys, I feel like, still handle this a little better. I, I don't I, I guess you, like well, that. You, you keep comparing it to women, right? So you have to look at it separately. You gotta just look at the guys as no, they but are. No, I've never met a guy that does this. Like, even when he's mopey, he's out there, like, drinking. Dude, I mope. That's true. But you play, like, video games. Well, I do, but it doesn't mean that I'm still sad and shit, right? It just means you... Like, I guess guys are just better at trying to keep themselves occupied. It's not like we get over it quicker or better. I think we just know to occupy yeah. ourselves better. Because um, I know my guys, you know, my buddies would be like, let's go out. And I was like, dude, I really don't want to go out. I'm not in the mood for it. Oh, and then I, you just end up watching, like, emo movies to, like, feel your feelings. Well, I draw a line there. I'm saying, like, I pound some whiskey and I watch some action movies mm. and or play Call of Duty. But so you still let yourself feel your feelings and you mope I at feel, home. I feel myself. <laughs> That's a lot of feelings. Thoroughly, yes. Interesting. Now, another one. Now, this, this is the part that I, I draw the line on. This is where you kind of have to more have more of a backbone here. I'm never dating again. <laughs> it's like, you should get slapped right now. Actually, okay, I I used to talk to this guy, um, and he was like that. He, you know, we, we kept in touch. Things didn't work out. Years later, he actually started dating um, someone that I knew, a, a, a sister of a friend, okay? So he's dating my friend's sister, and she they had this amazing romantic weekend. It included a hot air balloon ride, you know, the works. Like, he did the works with her, and he was really feeling her. And she kind of just dropped off the face of the earth after that weekend. Mm. And he calls me on the phone to vent about this girl because he knew that I knew her. And he's like, that's it. I'm never going to be a nice guy anymore. I'm just done with girls. I'm done dating her. And I was just thinking to myself, how old are you? Like, I get that you're sad right now, but it wasn't even the fact that, like, he was a guy. It was more his, like, maturity. So, like, I feel like this millennial, like, emo guy you're talking about may be slightly immature compared to the rest of the guys, like, his age because this guy was just I'm never gonna date again I'm like come on you're a hot-blooded man of course you're gonna date again are you serious well but technically I, th I think at the heart of this is is of this whole article is that there are some now more than ever we're we're seeing a generation that embraces guys being more emotional and accepting of their feelings and being more open about it it does but they haven't evolved completely into like man is man and woman is one now emotionally you know we're able to be well, i think yeah. it's so yeah that's what i'm saying like i don't i don't know i don't i don't agree i don't see that a lot and I, when i do see it it's like it's like immaturity to me like to this extent well, i guess so I, I think it's just again like you said it's new and so we haven't properly found social protocols and etiquette to it i mean what do we do with an emotional guy like that you know what's weird? I haven't talked about my niece in a bit, but my niece actually told me a story about this. Like, there was this guy that liked her friend and then later on liked her, and he was a really emotional little bitch. Just like, oh my god, I really love you. What can we be together? And again, this, we're talking about 14-year-olds, right? Wow. 14-year-olds. And she was like, ah, I was so turned off. I mean, that's my niece. That's my niece's voice right there. <laughs> oh my god, I was so turned off. <laughs> I just couldn't handle it. And I was like... Wow, so in this whole scenario, you're the dude and, and he's right? the girl. So, like, like is the counterpart kind of to this article about the women who are, like, more dude-like and the millennial women that are more, like, men? Dudeliness. Dudeliness, yeah, because I just don't see that working out very well if a guy is this emo. Right, I, but at the same time, we also have a generation where women are kind of more emotionally cold than I guess they've ever been, right? So they're able to shun guys and shoot them down more because back in the day it wasn't really etiquette to do that, right? I mean, and I guess it's a good thing that it's okay for now, you know, f socially acceptable. It's a, we're a little bit more, we're hard, we're less hard on our men and women. 
and they're kind of able to kind of be whatever personality they want to be and not we don't have to gender type them or gen- yeah. give them like a identify their emotions or personalities with the gender so i'm i'm all for men that are emotional and do these things that's great but like a little bit more maturity to me, it's more of a maturity factor. I would probably agree with you. Uh, as much as we appreciate breaking out of gender roles, some gender roles, some new phases that have come up, some new things that have come up, not the coolest They're coming not. up in each of the sexes. Kind of weird. Not gonna lie. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the girls that are gonna sit down, chug a beer, burp, and play Mario Kart because that's pretty freaking awesome. But the guy who's going to cry about little small stuff... Because that, that's boring, whether it's a guy or a girl that does that, right? right. It's right. just more socially acceptable, I guess, for a woman to be in her sweats and just complain, which is lame. I mean, it, 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 everyone should be able to react yeah. the way they want to react, but it's just in the same lame nature, right? like, when both men or women do this shit. Well, yeah, well, at the same time, like, kind of after a breakup, traditionally guys are like... Yo, bro, we'll take you to the strip club. It's like, that's not the right thing to do, right? Yeah. And, like, nowadays we're a little bit more like, really? You're that fucking guy that went to the strip club after you broke up with <laughs> your girl? Like, you're that fucking guy? Right? So we're getting better at it. But let's give it another 5, 10 years and see where we're at. Yeah. So that's it for this week's podcast. We're going to check back in in 5 to 10 years and see how it's all going. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.